hello guys and welcome back to the channel it's great to have you here once again now if you've not subscribed to our channel you know what to do go hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that anytime we post a new video you'll be the first to get it now in today's video guess what we are going to talk about it's a story time yes i'm going to tell you about how i landed my first cyber security job here in canada i know i've had a lot of questions about studying cyber sec in canada you know the job prospects how difficult the program is yada 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 and all of that i did a couple of videos about studying cyber sec here so if you've not seen those go into our um our video list you would find a video i did about a day in the life of a cyber security student and you know i interviewed the cyber security students as well who went to nbcc great content go check those out now let's get into today's video you may be wondering well after coming to canada to study cyber security am i going to get a job how is the job market here i'm going to tell you my own story what i actually did to land my first role but actually i ended up rejecting that offer even though i got accepted to to a job here and i'll tell you the reason why prior to coming to canada my experience was nowhere close to cyber security actually um i was working in infrastructure still it related but not cyber security now when i came here i i came to study one year at nbcc as you all know by now the program was very intense and um throughout the program we we learned a lot we did a lot of lab works assignments we actually learned a lot right and i was able to leverage on the experience i got from studying uh, for one year at nbcc for my job interview now, what I did few months prior to uh, the completion of our program, I started applying to jobs and I came across this role um, on LinkedIn. It's a cybersecurity role. I'm not going to mention the name of the company, but it was a cybersecurity role. So I reached out to the HR and I was like, look, I, I saw this role, uh, quite an interesting role. I think I would be a best fit for the role. So why not have an interview and let's see how that goes. So they checked my profile. They saw I had an IT background studying cybersec, you know, and, and I, I have work experience in IT in general. So they were willing to have an interview. So we scheduled an interview and we did the first interview that went superb, right? That was like the um, the general HR related interview, you know, getting to know you and how you work best in teams and your prior experience and all of that. So I guess they were impressed because after that interview, I received an email that congratulations, you passed that interview and we would like to have a second interview with you. And that second interview was going to be the technical interview now i had to prepare a lot for that interview right because as i said i've not worked in any cyber security role in the past so i had to go back and learn you know some of the frequently asked cyber questions also some of the things i i, I learned in school i had learned until that point you know i had to go back revise my notes you know in cyber in general you are protecting systems so you need to know some of the tools that are being used also i read a lot of blog posts about cyber security you know just to get prepared for the technical interview so i i did that and when the time came for the interview it was an online interview actually so we had the interview they asked a lot of questions uh, about my previous background what what i was doing previously and also you know some of the cyber tools out there and how they can be leveraged in protecting systems and all of that so in all this you know all at that point all i could remember was the things i was taught in class and one good thing about cyber security at nbcc is that it's very practical right so you do a lot of labs you, you do simulations so you get to have a hands-on experience on some things that goes on in the industry and even the tools that you use um during your program are in are industry tools that that are being used to protect systems so you know i i i i went back again you know trying to remember all the things that all the things that i i had learned and also leveraging on those to answer some of the questions that were asked all in all the interview went superb 
I made them know that I'm willing to learn. And that's always the most important thing. Even if you are asked something and you don't really know, you are not familiar with whatever is being asked, just, you know, reassure them that you are willing to learn because now we have a lot of resources at our disposal. You have YouTube, you know, um, Stack Overflow, all these platforms where you can go and, you know, get some information learn you know and and you know all these learning co uh, platforms as well that that you can go and learn right so i i made them know that i'm i'm always willing to learn i'm open to learn i'm a fast learner and you know and all those so long story short it was a great interview i didn't even find it as an interview it was more like a conversation we had a good time you know they getting to know me and also me getting to know them getting to know what the company does getting to know the systems they have getting to know if they've had any attack in the past some of the challenges they they've had in the team with cyber security and all that so my main role here was going to be more like more around um um security um operation operation center <laughs> operation center analyst and also doing some cyber stuff right so you know your your threat intelligence you know protecting systems making sure that there are no loopholes or vulnerability in the systems patching and all that's being up to speed on some of you know the spam emails that are being sent and how you can protect them so um all in all it was a great interview i had a good time as i said and they told me, well, we are going to get back to you. We enjoy talking to you. In a few weeks, we will get back to you. Now came the waiting time. <laughs> uh, we waited. First week went by. I didn't hear from them. Second week went by. I didn't hear from them. And I think approaching the third week, I got an email from the HR that, you know, they've not forgotten me. They are still making or deciding if they are going to go with me, but also they have their own internal, whatever they are still sorting out. So they would get back to me. So I have my fingers crossed. And at least the good thing I liked about this company was the fact that the HR, you know, was always in touch from time to time. He would reach out to me and let me know that, you know, they would get back to me. I've interviewed with some companies where they just ghost you just like that, you know, three months, four months, you never hear from them after interview, but at least this company in the picture they did a great job you know updating me from time to time and and all that so i think about a month and a week after the second interview i finally head back from them i got a call from the hr guy and he was like congratulations you know we are willing to offer you this position or this role in our company we really enjoyed having the interview with you and we feel that you'll be a great resource to the team and the company i was so excited actually guys because i was still in school then um i had just like two months until graduation if, if i'm not mistaken so i was so excited I was like yes i finally got a job even before graduation and one thing to keep in mind, it's not so easy to find a, a cybersecurity job specifically as an international student because most companies, they require you to have uh, to actually do a background check, right? Uh, or security clearance, however they call it. And this is required because as a cybersecurity analyst, you get exposed to a lot of sensitive data of the company right so the companies they want to make sure that you as an international you don't have any criminal background you will not you know sell their data or expose their data and all of that so most companies actually require require this and for this reason the, the security clearance that it's it's in such a way that they require you to be in the country for a minimum of five years right for them to run that comprehensive check on you and as an international student who just came a year ago a few months ago and you don't have that years of experience in canada so they would rather not even interview with you but this company was willing to still go with me regardless so yeah i i got that role i got the email i got the phone call from the hr and i was so excited so he told me he was going to send me an email with the offer letter i should read through and decide if i'm going to accept the offer or not so guys let's backtrack a little bit during the interview they asked me what my salary expectation was and as I said before, I read a lot about cybersecurity here in Canada, salary expectation, and, you know, all those details you need, right? So 
When I went into the interview, I had a figure in mind. And when they asked me, I quoted a range that, well, I want, or my salary expectation is between X and Y amount. And they were like, yeah, okay, you know. <laughs> so I was, when the guy called me that I have been offered a role, I was excited. He didn't mention how much they were going to offer, actually. Uh, he said that information was going to be in the offer letter, which he would send by email. So I was like, yeah, maybe finally I'm going to get that box and, you know, finally working in cybersecurity and all that. And then the offer came. The offer came. I read it. And the bombshell. Now, before I go to the bombshell, this role required me to be in person. And then... Or even now, I was living in St. John, which is a city here in New Brunswick. And the role required me to move to another city in New Brunswick. So, which means what's going to happen is that after school, I need to leave St. John and relocate to another city. So, the offer came. I read through. I got to that portion that, you know, had details about your salary and your benefits. And I saw the salary and I was disappointed. I was like, but this is not what we spoke about, guys. You know, because it was it was lesser than what what I requested for. So and and I know, you know, it's just a starting point. You are just completing school. But I'm not an entry level. I've I've had work I've worked in the past before coming here, right? So to me the salary didn't really make sense. So I I you know emailed the HR I told him thanks for the offer i'm really excited about it blah 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 but can you guys can we you know negotiate the salary a bit you know i can send a counter offer and you guys can review and then we can take it from there because i feel the salary is a bit low so i i made an offer like i i made a counter offer to the salary um they were they were proposing and they got back that unfortunately they won't be able to give me how much i'm requesting even though it wasn't you know how much i was counter offering wasn't much difference from what they were offering me <laughs> they were like yeah the amount we are giving you we've maxed out that's like the best we can do you know the way the guy was talking it was as if you know, we've given you the best ever offer, the best ever amount. But bro, like, I, I need that money. I need the money. <laughs> so I, I was like, okay, yeah, if that's the case, then I, I'm going to reject the offer. Because just around that time, I was interviewing with another company, uh, with another role that I was very passionate about. Uh, that wasn't cybersecurity, but that was related to something I was doing previously. And I was... You know, if I would decide between cyber and that role, it would be that role. So um, even though I had not had any response from that role yet, you know, we had gone through the first interview. I was still optimistic that I was going to get it. And for that reason, I rejected the cybersecurity offer. So I, I replied to HR in a very polite manner and told him that, look, you know, I'm required to relocate versus the benefits and the salary you guys are giving me. Uh, unfortunately i won't be able to accept this offer at this time i appreciate everything and they they understood right so that was how come i part ways with with this company and the cyber security rule so i didn't end up taking the offer long story short but it, it was a great experience and um especially going through that whole process of interviewing for a cyber sec role um after studying for uh for almost a year at nbcc and leveraging on that learning experience to you know kill that interview <laughs> or, or to ace that interview let me put it this way was was a learning experience actually and what i have to say to prospective students or prospective job seekers is that it, it's always possible everything is possible you know, you have to take serious whatever you are learning at the moment. If what be it being NBCC or any other school in Canada, you are, um, there is still that possibility to find a job right after school, right? It's all about how determined you are. It's all about how well you position yourself for the opportunities that are out there. Now, few tips here. In Canada, finding a job can be daunting that for sure if someone tells you that yeah come to canada there are a lot of jobs and you get a job it's it's all lies 
you you have to work towards that role working towards that role meaning you have to you know network that's that's key you you need to network you need to speak to people in the industry you need to connect with managers and you need to let you know draw people's attention to you in such a way that they like your profile and they are willing to to work with you so these are some of the things you can do and on the other hand you know if there are some certification opportunities go ahead and take them if you are looking at becoming a cyber expert you can take the um, security plus certification eventually the csp um uh, certification and and all those certifications there are start from somewhere and gather all those and they would definitely help you in finding a job eventually so don't give up and if you are looking at studying cybersec in canada you can do it if you want to reach out you have questions leave your comments in the comment section and yeah i'm always here to answer your questions you can reach out privately 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 <laughs> on instagram in the description of this video we have links to our instagram guys so you can reach out private message and we can take it from there if you need tips or if you want to talk further how you can apply to come study here in canada we are always open to helping you thanks very much i hope you enjoyed this video and you know learned something new and if you've not subscribed yet what are you waiting for and if you've not even shared our channel yet what are you waiting for it may be beneficial to a family member a friend a colleague an acquaintance share it subscribe like this video and ask your questions catch you in our next video guys bye